What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. We're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with Zekrom and looking for some wins on that rank ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, every little thing helps me grow as a content creator. So thank you to everybody who subscribes to the channel, likes the videos up, or just tunes in and watches them. All of them really do go a long way. So I thank you guys so much. But getting started with this team in that top left corner with the heart and soul of the squad we got Zekrom over here dragon and electric typing i love that typing i think that's such a cool typing considering there are not a lot of pokemon like that he's really the only pokemon i can think of that is dragon and electric so it's really really cool he's got terrible as his ability life or bad item so every time he does a move it's going to do more damage protect dragon dance is set up dragon claw and bolt strike for both of our stab moves Right next to him is Roboom, and I feel like every single Series 10 team I use has Roboom on it. Great Pokemon, just works in all instances. Grassy Surge is his ability, Assault Vest has that item so it can soak up some special attacking shots, U-Turn for Pivot, Knock Off Takeoff items, Grassy God for Stab, and First Turn Priority in the, set, in the Surge, and Fake Out for Flinches. Middle left, we got Togekiss. Love this Pokemon, I think this is one of my favorite Pokemon to use on any team. Because you can build him so versatile. You can build him attacking. You can build him support. And this one is support. We got Serene Grace as his ability. But Beery Berry as his item. Protect, Yawn, Follow Me, and Air Slash as our only hitting move. Right next to him is Mamoswine. Very underrated Pokemon in my opinion. And this is just getting me more hype for Pokemon Unite. This Pokemon is coming to Pokemon Unite. So I cannot wait to use him and show him off in a video in that game. But for now, we'll just rock out with him in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Oblivious ability. Focus Sash as his item. Protect. Ice Shard for first turn priority, High Horsepower, and Ice Sickle Crash, both for our stab moves. Bottom left corner, we got Tapu Fini, the best Tapu. Misty Surge, Leftovers as his item, Protect, Calm Mind Setup, Moon Blast, and Muddy Water, both for our stab moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Talonflame. I think this Pokemon is very underrated. It is a great Talon Pokemon, in my opinion, considering he has his ability, which is Gale Wing. So every time we use a flying move, when we're at full HP, we get first turn priority. So it's basically just like a free Talon setup. And then if they don't hit us after that, we can get some constant Brave Birds in there for first turn priority. Sharp Beak as its item, Quick Guard, Tailwind, Flare Blitz, and Brave Bird for its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Life Orb Zekrom team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team, and we already know the power of that Pokemon. We showed them off in our last Pokemon Sword and Shield video, so if you haven't checked that one out, definitely go check it out and show a little bit of love over there, show some support by dropping a like on it. But he also has Tornadus, Indeedy, Urshfu, and then the two powerhouse starters of Rillaboom and Instant War. Two great Pokemon there. Definitely, definitely a very strong team here. So I think I'm definitely going to go into Talonflame here, try to get speed rolling, try to get rocking out from there. I might end up leading the Zekrom here. Zekrom could be pretty good, or Mamoswine could be decent as well. This jeans. I think I'm going to go with Mamoswine. I think Mamoswine is going to be player. So I'm going to lead Mamoswine with Talonflame, bring that lovely little Zekrom in the back, and then final Pokemon could be Rillaboom or it could be Togekiss. Mm. Could be Tapu Fini. I'm liking Tapu Fini more than them. Hmm. I'm just worried about that Rillaboom coming in here. What does Jeans want to do? Let's go Tapu Fini here. Let's rock Tapu Fini as that final Pokemon and hop into our first battle and look for a win here. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What restricted Pokemon would you guys like to see me play next? Considering there are a ton of Pokemon that I have not yet played for Series 10. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below what Pokemon you guys would like me to use. And maybe I'll play them. I'll definitely check out all the comments. Definitely comment back. But it'll definitely give me ideas of uh, what Pokemon you guys would like to see next. But let's see who this guy is going to lead. Hopefully we get off to a strong start here because the lead is everything in these battles. They really are. Like if you get off to a strong lead, you can pretty much just win the game. But hopefully leads some terrible lead that we can just counter up right away. We're predicting the Incineroar kind of getting out here. That's why I kind of led the Mammoth Swine. It goes Rillaboom and Urshfu, so that's totally fine by me as well. But let's see what he what he wants to do. Let's see what he wants to do. They might just fake me out and go from there. He's definitely, that's a Water Urshfu, right? Yeah, I think that's Water Earth Boost, so that's a little scary for us. I could Hard Swap. I could Hard Swap. Could be the play, because I can take out the uh, Terrain as well. Hmm. I might Hard Swap into the Finny. So I can definitely see a Fake Out and then, like, uh, I don't know, certain Strikes popping out here. Could swap into the Finny. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap into the top of Finny. And I could just go for an Ice Shard, or I can go for a nice, big old Ice Super Crash. I can't protect this first turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Save my Focus Ash just in case he uh, fakes out or something like that. We'll go for the hard swap. 
And I'm just going to protect my Mammo Swine here. Now we got the terrain switch up, which is beautiful. Get this terrain out of my face. Get it out of here. We'll have Talon Flame in the back end. We can use him later. Full show. And I think the Surgeon Strikes is coming over in top of Finny. Let's see. Better not be going over into Mammo Swine because I'm protected and he can hit through protects. Big guy's going to come through here. He's going to fake out on that slot. And yeah, that's why I figured he was going to go there and then Surgeon Strikes into Finny, right? Right? Better be the Finny slot or I'm going to be a little upset. Yeah, beautiful. 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 It's a nice little read by me. I could have actually got off a shot with my Mammo Swine. That could have been huge. I would have dropped a nice big old laser crash. That could have been big. So this thing is life orb. That's good to know. That's very good to know. And there goes my leftovers, which is dope. We're triggering some leftovers. And I can't just go for a Moonblast to pose that big threat onto him. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to pose the threat over onto the Rillaboom by going into an Ice Sickle Crash. So, yeah, I like this first turn. I like where we're sitting right here. I wonder what he's going to do here. He might end up swapping the Rillaboom. Just to get the surge back later in the match. Well, let's see what his play is here. Let's see what play he's going to go into. I'm really, I'm really curious about this one. I'm really curious. I believe uh, Urshfu might be faster, so he might be able to take out my Mammoth Swine. But I don't know if he wants my his, uh, Urshfu to go down. I think we might go one for one here. Surge Strikes is going to pop. And he's probably going to take out Mammoth here. Let's see. Let's see. Mammoth, yeah, you're dead. You're, you're, you're done. You're done for. You are done for. But dang, dude, I shouldn't have protected him that first turn. If I would have just went for like an Ice Whip Crash, I could have been to play. And now Tapu Finish should go be able to drop a Moon Blast here. And we should be able to take out Urshfu, no problem. Yep, there goes Moonblast, and I think uh, he's going to go two for one. Which isn't bad. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that one bit. I think we're just chilling here fine. Let's see, is he just going to go for Oh, he's going to go for a U-turn, which is smart. He goes for that U-turn. So he pivots out. We're going to see his final two Pokemon, and we're going to get out. Who are we going to get out here? Who am I going to get out here? Probably Talonflame try to set up a Tailwind. I'm trying to think what other two Pokemon could he bring. Calyrex, okay. He is going to bring that lovely little Calyrex. And then his final Pokemon is going to be who? It's going to be whom? But I think I just set up that Tailwind and we get rocking out from there. That's probably our, our best bet. There's nice little leftovers. And he's going to throw out... He can throw out Rillaboom again, which could be tough if he throws out Rillaboom again. Then he has Fake Out. He has all that stuff on deck. So... Hmm. What do I want to do here? I think we save the talent point. I think we save the talent point for when the top of Finny goes down. Just in case he sends out Rillaboom again. And there it is. And there is that lovely little li Rillaboom. That lovely little Rillaboom. So I can double protect here. Which could be great. So we don't get faked out. Or I can predict who he's going to fake out. There's levels to this. What are we going to do? Or I can just both attack. Because he's going to fake out and try to double down on one person. But I don't want to... Hmm. I don't want to protect the one and waste a turn. I would think he would uh, go for the Zekrom, right? You would think he would go for the Zekrom, right? So I'm just going to protect the Zekrom. That would be my prediction, is he goes for a Zekrom. We might go for an Astral Barrage, but let's see what he does here. Let's see his play. We still have the Talon Flame in the back, which is great. I didn't want to bring him out because I didn't want him to get faked out and then just you know, get one tapped up on. Because he is a little lightweight. He is a little lightweight there. But nice little fake out read from me. He ends up faking out my Zekrom. And he's going to go for a Giga Drain. Hey, yo, you buttery biscuits. Can we eat that? He cannot. Yo, that's whack. That is so whack. Super whack. Super whack. He gets a Grim Nade boost. And mm, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here, dude. This thing's rocking Giga Drain? Like, what? Calyrex rocks a Giga Drain. It was smart because he's rocking it in the Surge. But still. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. Let's get rocking out here. We have our Talon Flame here. I could definitely just set up a uh, Talon, or I can go into Brave Bird. But I think, mm, I think Talon is going to be at the beer player. I'm going to go for a Talon and maybe a Bolt Strike. Nice, lovely little Bolt Strike. Go for Dragon Claw as well, but we're going to hope this thing hits right here. We're going to go after his Calyrex. Start doing some big damage over on that Pokemon and taking speed advantage as well. Let's see it. Let's run it, baby. We getting after this. We getting after this. But like, but the best part about using Zekrom back in like, uh, what was it, Series Eight or Series Seven when he could use it was Dynamaxing him. I feel like he had his fullest potential came out when he was Dynamax. I don't know why he has no like really any boost really, but he was just a great Pokemon there considering he's pretty beefy, so he gets a big HP boost and then he just hits even harder. So I really like this Pokemon when you could Dynamax him, but he's still really fun to use so far. 
I'm gonna Tailwind here, take speed, and try to bring this battle back to into our favor. And I'm gonna go for a Bolt Strike, and it does connect, which is wonderful. And I love the way this move looks, bro. Looks so sick. And yo, we just, oh my god, this thing's sashed. Like, what is this, bro? Giga Drain and Sash on a Calyrex? Get it out my face, yo. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it, bro. Like, what? what, what I'm so confused. He's gonna end up doing some big damage on us and taking out my talent flame, yo. This thing is Sash. Bro, we lost this battle. Imagine if that thing was not Sash. You never see those things Sash. He's gonna end up knocking me off, and that is going to be game, dude. If that thing wasn't Sash, we would have been thriving here. We would have been buzzing. I think we would have won that battle, hands down. But we end up losing our first battle. Let's hop into our second one and look to grab our first win. Looking for our first win for today's video, our last battle we ended up losing. I really don't want to talk about it. That dang Shadow Rider Calyrex ended up having a Focus Sash after we hit it with a huge Bolt Strike. But that's what it is. We lost that one. We're looking for our first win in battle number two. We're going up against a Xerneas team with Incineroar, Zapdos, Grimmsnarl, Rollboom, and Togekiss. Okay, I'm with it. I kind of like this dude's team. How should I go after this one? How should I play it? I'm thinking I'm going to go into... I'm trying to think. Dude, that Mamoswine could be really... Or not Mamoswine. That uh, Xerneas could be really, really hard to kill here. It could be really, really tough because he could potentially set up a Geomance. And I might just want to go into Zekrom for a lead. Like, I get that he's fairy, but if he goes into that Tokus, we can take that out in one shot. Which is good for us. But, at the same time, I definitely want to take speed away from him. So, I might go Mammoth Swine and Talonflame. And then have Zekrom in the back. And then, final Pokemon should be the Tapu Fini. I really am liking that Tapu Fini, so I am going to end up bringing that Pokemon. And we're going to get rocking out here in battle number two. But, yeah, that Xerneas is just posing such a huge threat. And I'm not going to lie, I'm really scared of that Pokemon. I am really scared of that Pokemon. But I think he might just lead the Tokus and his Xerneas to try to set up the Geomance. That might just be his play. He might be going for it. And with that said, we might have to double down on that Pokemon. So let's see his lead. Let's see his lead. Incineroar. Oh, Incineroar and Robo. Double fake out. And Intimidate is going to come out here, but we are oblivious, so he cannot fake out my Mammo. But he can fake out my Talent Flame, or I can just Quick Guard. I can just do a lovely little Quick Guard. A lovely quick guard, and I can protect if I really want to. And so, or I can just hard swap the mana. Could be the play. I am Sash, so I can use my Sash here. Because he has to be faking out one on my talent flame, right? So I'm thinking I'm just doing this. I'm thinking I'm just quick guarding here. Drop an Icer Crash. I think it's going to be your play. But I think Rillaboom is a bigger threat than Instant War, in my opinion. Rillaboom is just so good all around. Quick guard's going to pop out here. Fake out. Or Grass Gods, we're going to say, yeah, that's not happening. Fake Out comes out here. Block. And I think he might glide over, which could be really, really nice. Let's go, baby. Yo, Quick Guard coming up big for us. Quick Guard coming up big for us. Icicle Crash connects. Beautiful. I would have been so upset if that move missed. But, yo, Quick Guard coming up big for us. And Icicle Crash taking out Roboom. Get out my face, baby. Get him out of here. Beautiful first turn for us. Awesome. I can set up a Tailwind now. This could be really, really dope. But, yo, Quick Guard just outplayed him. He was not expecting that, yo. Not expecting that at all. Huge Quick Guard. Huge Quick Guard. That was big all around. Okay, so definitely want to set up that Tailwind now. And definitely want to go into that High Horsepower. High Horsepower. Yeah, yeah. And what Pokemon do I think is his final one? It's got to be that Zern, right? I don't mind going into a High Horsepower, dropping this thing over on this thing. And he could fake me out again. That could be his play with the Grim Charles. He has, like, three fake out users. Nutty. Nutty, but he does not end up faking out. We go for a tailwind, which is lovely, and our reflect is getting set up on his end. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Our high horsepower comes out here. How much damage are we gonna do? Dang, yo, big old damage. I think we're gonna see a berry pop out here. Yep. Wouldn't be an incineroar if it wasn't holding the berry. We already know that. And we should be able to take him out in another high horsepower. Actually, I don't know because he gets the grassy terrain boost. But he goes for the flare blitz. That's easy eats. Our sash is coming out here. Run it, yo. Sash up, baby. Sash up. Sash up. And there's some big recoil damage. So, again, another high horsepower will take him out here. Mammoth Swine pretty much just did his job already. And we can bring out Zekrom next turn. So, I'm digging it a lot. I am digging this a lot. So, what should I go for? Brave Bird for first turn priority? Or do I go for Flare Birds? Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans like to do? So, we can go for a Burn? I think going for the Burn would be our better bet. So let's go for that move, and then we're just going to drop a high horsepower. Take out instead of more. We have speed all day. Let's, oh, unless he's rocking Sucker Punch. No, he's not. Okay, cool. No Sucker Punches here. 
Flare Blitz comes through here. Get some damage. Give me the burn. Give it to me. We get a crit. Give me the burn now. Little shimmy burn. Come on. Nope. No burn. No barbecue today. High horsepower flies through. And Sonora, do me a favor. Come here. And get out my game, yo. Get him out of here. We don't need him here. We don't need him here. Yo, dude, strong lead for us, yo. These two are buzzing out here. Playoffs gonna fly through here, and that's fine. You can take on a Mammoth Swine, but just know you have to pay the consequences. We are bringing out Zekrom. We are indeed bringing out Zekrom. Unless he has Zern. Zern could be annoying. Could be very, very annoying. But we gotta bring out Zekrom. We gotta get off as much damage as we possibly can. All to Zernies if he does bring it out here. But we'll see what his plan is. Is it gonna be Zern? It's gonna be Zernies. It is. Pokemon really scary. Could set up a Geomancy. We can do a lot here. We can do a lot. So we could double down into it. Could double down into it. Hmm. This jeans one do here. I think we should double down into that. Hmm. Going to a flare, but let's double down into this Pokemon. Going to a bolt strike. And try to do some damage on this dude. Because we need he needs to go. Hopefully we don't miss our bolt strike, yo, I swear. Zern's gonna protect. Ah! Hate this game. Hate this game so much. Zern's gonna protect. And I wonder what Grimstar is gonna get off by protecting. A play rough. It should be easy eats for you, boy. It's easy eats. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Um, do we think he's rocking Sucker Punch? I don't see him rocking Sucker Punch. I think he has Light Screen Reflect, play rough, and that's pretty much it. So I still have to double down into Zern. Do I quick guard just in case? No. We got to get after his Pokemon. Get after him. If he lands another Protect, I'm done. I'm getting up and I'm walking away. This, the, the video will be over after that. He's going to taunt me, which is totally fine. That's his final move. You can taunt me all day, baby. We double one up into your pretty little Zern. I need this Pokemon out of my face. We get some damage. Give me the burn. Show me the burn. Give me the burn. Come on. No burn. Bolt Strike comes out here, and it connects, yo. Connects. Thank you. Thank you for connecting. Getting off some damage. Huge damage. Huge damage. That's lovely little move. Lovely little move right there. And Dazzling Gleam's gonna come out here, and Talonflame should be alive here, right? Alright, it's cool. Talonflame eats up. Talonflame should be able to take out Xerneas here, unless it protects. And we do have our lovely little top affinity. Actually, I don't know, yo. That's, that's close. How much damage are we really gonna do on that Pokemon? Talonflame Peter's out. Ooh. That's rough. That the Talonflame Peter's out. I think Talonflame still should be fastest. He's a, what is he, like 195 speed? Yeah, 195, he totally should be fastest on the field. We gotta get after him. Top of Finny is gonna come out here. Definitely want this Pokemon. We need to get rid of this Ernie. This is for the win right here. This is for the win. The win. Can Jeans get it? Misty Surge is popping. It is popping. It is popping here. He can protect, which I, I can definitely see him protecting. Maybe going for a play rough. What do I go for? I think we're going to go for another Flare Blitz, and I think we are just going to drop a Muddy Water here. I think that's our play. Let's see how this one plays out here. There needs to just protect. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Let's see how much damage we can do with this Muddy Water here. Taunt is going to come out here, and he's just taunting me, bro. He's just taunting me. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're coming in with attack moves. He just wants some... Oh, no. He does not get any more HP back, which is huge. Muddy Water comes out here. Gets blocked. Can you hit the Grimstorm, please? Muddy Water misses a lot all the time. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Muddy Water's connecting, boys. Get some damage off on that Pokemon. No, dude, this one's going to be so close. And we get the Act Drop. That's big. I'll take an Act Drop all day. We get the Accuracy Drop. Mm, what do I do from here? He only has Play Rough, so I think I just double down into Cernius here. I think I just double down into this Pokemon. I gotta get rid of this Pokemon. He's gotta go. We gotta tell this dang deer to get out of here. This really strong deer to get out of here. Hopefully this Flare Blitz takes out. Let's see. He does. Yes, sir! Town Flame clutching up. Coming in. Staying in that whole battle, to be honest with you guys. He hasn't left. And Moonblast should come over here and pick up the KO, right? Moonblast should say GG's. It says GG's, yo. Let's get it, guys. We were able to take out that strong little deer and get ourselves our first win for today's video. Now we can hop into our third and look for that winning record.
It's time to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. We're going into our third and final battle, and we're going up against a Lunala team with my shell, Zapdos, Cinderace. I'm always scared of Cinderace. That thing is such a huge threat all around because of its amazing ability, which is Liberio, and then he has Sakataka and Incineroar. Okay. How should I play this one? I might go in with that same lead. That same lead was just rocking. It was popping strong, and I liked it all around. I am digging that. I am digging that. And we can rock with another quick guard for a lot of these Pokemon. So I'm going to go in with those, uh, that same lead. Bring Zekrom 100% in that back end. And then final Pokemon. Hmm. We go with Tapu? I think Tapu's got to come in here, dude. Tapu's just so good. So good. So we're going to go same squad here. We're going to get rocking out here. And we're going to look for that winning record. Let's grab ourselves that winning record, dude. I really want it. I really want it. But I don't know. It's looking a little tough here. It's looking a little tough here. The Lunala could be rocking Trick Room. So that definitely could be scary. So if he leads the Lunala, I might just not even set up a Tailwind. But I'm hoping he leads like somebody, a fake out user, which I think he is. So I can just quick guard it and kind of get rocking out from there. So let's see. Let's see this dude's lovely little play. He's going to go into... My Shout and Cinderace. Okay, so Cinderace is probably rocking Sucker Punch. He probably wants to go for like a Pyro Ball into my Mammoth Swine, which would be totally fine. So I am going to end up Quick Garden here and Tail Winning next turn. because And use my Focus Ash here. Right? That's probably our play. But he's definitely going to stick it with a Pyro Ball, right? He's definitely going to go for a Fire Move into my uh, Mammoth Swine. So I'll let him trigger Focus Sash. We'll get some big damage off of High Horse Power. And a Fake Out definitely got to come from that My Shell. So we're going to make that read with that Quick Guard. Yo, I'm loving Quick Guard, bro. Quick Guard on Talon Flame? Yo, it's looking good. Quick Guard comes out here. We should be able to block a Fake Out here, no problem. Probably faking out the Mammo. Let's see. Fake Out comes out. Block. Oh, he's going for my Talon Flame. Yo, this dude's crazy. I'm going to go for a U-turn, yo. This dude's crazy. So he's going to swap out. And let's see who he's going into. Yo, this might be the smartest play of his career. If he goes into the bird, if he goes into the bird and dodges his high horsepower, that'd be a play. He goes into Incineroar, which I'm cool with. I'm oblivious here, and I get off a nice big old high horsepower with. So, yeah. Yo, let's rock it. I can quick guard again. I can quick guard again. Oblivious is coming out here. And I think I'm just going to set up a Tailwind, or do I quick guard? Here's high horsepower. Get off some huge damage, bro. Some huge damage. That's some huge damage. All right. So he can fake me out. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do? He can fake me out. But who would he fake out? I think I just set up a Tailwind here. Go for a high horsepower. That's my play. He might think I'm going to quick guard again. So he might not even go into the fake out. That's that's what I'm thinking he's going to do. He's probably thinking like, oh, he has quick guard. I, I'm just going to make a read here. Yep. He does not go for the fake out. Let's go, baby. In his head. Yo, messing with his head. Tailwind's out and about. High horsepower comes out first. Yo, Incineroar. Do me a favor. Get out of my game. This is my game. Get him out of here. So he's gone. He's probably going into my uh, Talon Flame with this one. Nope. He's going to go into Mammo with close combat and take him out. Yo, I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. We got Tailwind set up. This thing's defense is in the dumpster. Garbage. Trash. Get it out of here. I can Brave Bird it and bring it down to like 1 HP. And I can bring out Zekrom now. Or I can just go into Tapu Tapu. But nah, I'm gonna bring out Zekrom here. Zekrom. Ba -doo 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 Get my big dog out here. Probably gonna go back into Cinder Race. If I had to guess, that's it. Yep, there it is. Cinder Race and my shout out on the field. Terrible is ready to rock. We're ready to do some big damage. We're ready to get after it. That said, I'm gonna trigger this Focus Ash here. And I am going to just go into a Bull Strike and look for that thing to hit again. Or do I just go for a Dragon Ball? Nah, we going for Bull Strike, baby. We looking for that all day. I want to get off that big damage. Come on, Bull Strike. I need you to land here. I need him to land here. So this is probably going to trigger the Sash, like I said. Yeah, because my Shout is usually Sash. So that was an easy read to see that thing in Sash. And come on, Bull Strike. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Connects. Connects, yo. Loving this move. Loving this move so much. Big old damage, yo, Cinderace. Get out of here, dude. We don't want him here. We don't want him here. He's no match. He's no match for Zekrom, dude. Zekrom is a beast, dude. He does so much damage. Close combat coming out here. And we eat that one up. Tasty snack, baby. Tasty snack. Have to lick the fingers after that one. That's how tasty that snack was. <laughs> yo, we're, we have fun around here, guys. We have fun around here. But Lunala's going to come out here. That's going to be his final little Pokemon. And I'm just going to Brave Bird again. I'm just going to Brave Bird, take that thing out. You know the deal. 
We're looking to land another bolt strike. Bolt strike too good. It's too good. Is the guy gonna cancel? No, he does not. Raper comes out. Hey, my shall. Do me a favor. Go take a hike, man. Go take a hike. Get out of my game. Go. Go home. Go home. Yo, Zekron. Show the power here. Show the power here. Another bull strike lands, bro. Let's go. This thing is ripping. He's ripping. Get some big damage off on that thing, considering it is really bulky. And hopefully, we get a paralyzed. Zekrom. Zekrom is beasting out here today. He's going to end up dropping a Moonguise Beam, which is totally fine. This is sick move. I love this move all around. Moonguise Beam comes in here, looking all powerful. And Zekrom is going to go down here. That's totally fine. Zekrom drops. He did his work. He was doing some big damage all around. And more importantly, he was able to take out that Cinderace, no problem. Final Pokemon is going to come out here, which is going to be our lovely little Tapu Fini. Our lovely little Tapu Fini. And hopefully, when we use a Moonblast here, we can actually uh, drop that thing special attack. Because that could be huge all around for us. But dude, Quick Guard has just been... It's just been amazing with Talonflame. Started off... It let us get two strong leads. I'm going to go for a Brave Bird here. We do have that Sharp Beak, so I'll make it do a little bit more damage. And I'm just going to go for a lovely little Moonblast here. Hopefully a little moon blast. Battle was canceled. Let's go. Winning record 2-1 for today's video. This team right here was fire. I absolutely loved it. I love everything about it. We ended up losing that first battle, but the second and third battle, we dominated and we got to show off the power of Quick Guard and how strong Zep Grom can be. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.